everybody, this is my channel Sewing Bunny and my name's Michelle. Thank you so much for joining me in my video today, which is a little bit of a sewing haul. So I've got a few bits and bobs to share with you. I have a lovely pile of fabric just off screen here, uh, which I will be sharing with you very, very soon. And I do also have some patterns as well, which I bought in a sale. And I also have a mystery box from First Fabrics. So yeah, I can't wait to show you what is in this box. I have already opened it, but I just thought I would share that with you as well. So before I get started, in case anyone is wondering, um, I'm wearing two Me Maids today. Uh, the t-shirt that I'm wearing is from the Deer and Doe ebook Dressed. I think it is just called the t-shirt. It's a lovely little v-neck with a little sort of grown on sleeve. And then the cardigan that I'm wearing over the top is um, the Harper cardigan by Sinclair Patterns. This cardigan is a free sewing pattern. I love it. I need to make more of them. <laughs> really, really, really nice. And both of these fabrics came from um, Beyond the Pink Door. I don't stock them anymore, but um, yeah, I do love shopping at that fabric shop. <laughs> okay, so where should I start? I'm thinking I'm gonna get straight in with the first of fabrics mystery box. <laughs> and this is the spring mystery box. They tend to do a few kind of like seasonal um, sort of mystery boxes. I haven't seen them do them loads before, so I don't know if it's a reasonably new thing, but I know they did one um, around Valentine's Day. I remember seeing some unboxings of those and I thought, oh, they look like nice little uh, surprise boxes to have. I do like a little surprise. <laughs> and um, I must admit, uh, you may have seen, I got one of uh, Beyond the Pink Doors um, Soscription boxes when Andrew and Keris were doing a trial of them. And they only had like a limited number. So I bought the first one, but then I didn't get the second one because I just wanted to make sure that other people had the opportunity to get one as they were so limited. Um, and so I passed that one. And <laughs> I then saw First of Fabrics doing a little um, mystery box. And I was like, well, if I can't get the Beyond the Pink Door one, then I may as well treat myself to the First of Fabrics one. <laughs> so now I want all of the mystery boxes there are. <laughs> I just love it. I love so many different types of fabric. I think I'm reasonably easily pleased with fabric. So surprise boxes work very well for me. I would kind of say maybe if you're somebody who, you know, there's only only certain colours that you like, or, you know, if you don't, if you know you definitely don't like florals or, you know, geometric prints, things like that, then sometimes the mystery boxes can be maybe a bit of a gamble. Usually with all the mystery boxes I've ever had, like my So Hayley Jane box, um, the, obviously the one I had from Beyond the Pink Door and the First of Fabrics one, I've loved more or less everything I've received. So uh, yes, I am quite easily pleased when it comes to fabric. <laughs> so yeah, let me get opening this. So as you can see, it comes in just a lovely brown um, box. It obviously came wrapped um, as well, obviously with my address details on and everything, but it just comes in a nice little brown box. So nice and reusable, which is great. And it doesn't even have like a sticky label. So it just means that you can sort of reuse it and there's not gonna be any sort of like peel marks or anything. Let me open it. Now I have, <laughs> I've been, I've been very, very good. I basically, I opened the box and I looked at everything without undoing the ribbon. I am so proud of myself, but I kind of had a look at everything, picked out a few bits to kind of look at it. Um, but I want to show you guys how it looked when I opened the box. So I actually kept it all really, really nice. So when you open the box, this is what you are greeted with. How lovely is that? So it's all wrapped in this lovely ribbon and it comes with a little personalised note as well. And I was so pleased to see, I'm just going to hide a little uh, code that they give you, um, that it was signed by the lovely Tamlin. And if you know Tamlin, she is uh, sewn on the time. She works for First of Fabrics. And so it was so nice to see that she'd actually packed my box. So I do speak to Tamlin um, like on WhatsApp because we're part of a Felicity Fabrics or sort of blogger team. But it's just really nice having that little personal touch. 
So that's lovely. So um, in this, you get a lovely little, little letter, uh, explains what's in the box, and also, say, gives you a little discount code as well for your next purchase. So, yes, lovely. <laughs> uh, so, yes, you can see there that lovely ribbon. So I'm going to now undo that, and I'll give you a little bit of a close-up on, on that ribbon. So it's got these lovely pinks and purples and this uh, like pink lace trim as well. So that'll be lovely just to like add into um, a make or a craft project. I just think that's really, really pretty. You can imagine maybe adding that. You can almost add it on like a little sleeve edge or like a little hem. It'd be quite nice. So yes, now it's open. Now, if you've ever had an order from First Fabrics, you'll know they wrap it actually in pattern paper. You should be able to see there. So you've actually got that tissue paper that you normally get from the big four patterns. And I'm going to open it up and oh, I just, I really, really love what's in this box. It was called, um, it had a, a name called Spring Blooms Mystery Box. And on the website, it did tell you um, you could get, I think, a woven box or a um, jersey box. So I went for the jersey box because I thought I would probably use jersey maybe a little bit more than I would woven. So you get so many goodies in here. So let me start off with a little notion. Get these lovely little prim love pins with these lovely little heart heads on. So pretty. And you get loads in there. Absolutely loads. You can see you've got different colours absolutely loads in there so that's lovely you get a little a, a little a little sewing label and i know this is one from little rosy cheeks because i've seen it before and it says you are important you are enough you matter how lovely is that and also it's got that lovely um spring blooms sort of uh, theme around the edge as well you get oh you know me i love my tea get a tea bag <laughs> and this one is the feel new um pucker one which i have had before it's really nice i've forgotten what's in it it's um aniseed fennel and cardamom very very nice so really looking forward to having that also you get some sweeties you get these um little sweets from roses so roses again spring blooms so i've got a strawberry dream and a country fudge these are probably some of my favourite roses. Strawberry Dream or Strawberry Creams. Um, when I was little, my uh, dad used to take me to Woolworths, which doesn't exist anymore in the UK. Um, and it was kind of like a bit of a, a bits and bobs sort of shop. It had everything like clothes and stationery and sweets and everything. Um, and they used to be like the counter with all the sweets on. And I used to get a bag of Strawberry Creams when I was little because I loved them. And uh, yeah, just reminds me every time I have a strawberry cream, I remember um, that uh, my dad used to take me there and get some. So <laughs> it's a little insight there. <laughs> and also we have got some bias binding. And this is lovely. This is in a lovely pink floral design. Now this one is kind of quite a wide binding. Can you see there? There's actually quite a big gap. I'm used to binding, which um, is kind of like that sort of double fold where it's kind of actually both folded into the centre. I think this bias binding might be one that more that you could sort of wrap over and you do more as like an outside one, maybe. I'm not sure. Do you know, I mean, for any of you that might know, do you know the difference between the sort of wider width one and the sort of actual closed sort of one. I mean, I do presume it's probably just easier, I guess, just to do as an outside one. So you just literally wrap it over and then sew it straight on, I'm guessing. But you get loads of that as well. Absolutely loads of that. So we have got, let me have a look. We've got about, oh, if I can measure it in my rough meters. Oh yeah, just got just over about three, three and a half meters there. So that's good, loads and loads of binding. <laughs> You've got a Gutemann thread as well on here. Um, and this is just the white color. And uh, yeah, this is um, the Mariflex. I had to, had to remember what it was, because um, I couldn't remember what it was called. It's yeah, the Mariflex thread. Mara I can't speak today, Mariflex. 
and this is um, you've probably seen loads of YouTubers talking about it. It's a thread which is uh, slightly stretchy. So it's not kind of like proper stretchy. It's just got a bit of kind of give to it. And it just means that if you want to sew using jersey and you want to use a straight stitch, that um, this thread you can use as a straight stitch. So yeah, I have never tried this thread before. So very much looking forward to giving that a go. So yeah, that is a Mara Flex thread. <laughs> and on to the fabric. So you get two and a half meters in this box and it is a viscose jersey. I don't know if it's got um, a particular name or anything. No, it doesn't. No, it's just, uh, just it's viscose jersey and it's lovely. I have seen this design in so many places. I've been so tempted to get it on a few occasions, but it is this. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Let me just move the box out of the way and let me open it out a little bit for you. So it is this gorgeous viscose jersey. Just open it out and the colours in this are beautiful. So you've got like really sort of like burgundy sort of red background and then this lovely dusky pink sort of floral with the white and the little hints of sort of mustard in the flowers. Really, really pretty and it does feel so nice a lovely quality on there and um, it doesn't kind of stretch out like white when you stretch it or anything like that which is really really good has got a lot of stretch to it so oh I just I can't wait to make something out of this I think it's beautiful and I love the colour really really happy with it I've got two and a half meters so I do have plans to make a Friday pattern company uh, Westcliff dress like a nice little wrap dress um, with some other fabric and if that works out then I might use this fabric for doing uh, the slightly longer length version of the dress. Also I was thinking about possibly the Nina Lee Mayfair dress as well that's kind of like, um, like a sort of a ruched sort of shoulder sort of I'm not sure whether it's necessarily wrap but it's kind of like a it's got like almost like a cowl neck to it and that looks really nice um but yeah it's just a lovely lovely fabric i've got let's say two and a half meters so i could just make something really really nice out of that and i think that's perfect for spring summer i just think it's absolutely gorgeous so i'm really really happy with the box um i can't remember off the top of my head how much it was um, i'll try and find um out what it was and put it how much i paid down here I'm presuming they're similar prices for when they do the mystery boxes, but I'm not 100% sure. It might depend what they put in um, the boxes, you know, fabric and thing. But I'm really happy that I got that one. OK, so moving on to some patterns that I have bought. So these are um, big four patterns and I picked these up from uh, Minerva. And that is because they had a 50% off um, simplicity patterns. And I'm part of the Minerva, is it Craft Club? I think it's called. Um, you sign up, I think you pay, is it 20 pounds for the year? I can't, I can't even remember to be honest now. Um, but you pay um, a set amount for the year and it means you get 10% off everything. Um, and if they have promotions, sometimes you get the extra 10% off. So my simplicity patterns that I got, um, they were 60% off. So really, really good value. So I got two Simplicity and I got one Quick Sew because they had um, a massive sale on Quick Sew as well. So let me show you the Quick Sew one first. And I think this is something silly like £2.50 or, or something. Um, but it's Quick Sew K4068. And it is this lovely little dress. I just thought the details on this was so pretty. And for £2.50 or whatever it was, I just thought that's absolutely beautiful. So let me show you the line drawings on the back. So you have options for sleeveless or sleeved on there. And it's got this lovely gathered skirt. It's got this sort of waist panel on there as well. And then little uh, sort of darts um, or gathers uh, for the bust. 
and then this lovely v-neck and I just thought it was really really pretty. I do love um, the ones on the front. I don't know if I'd make sleeveless or sleeved because I actually really like both of them. But uh, yeah, I'm just thinking, yeah, even just like this in like a nice little chambray, just be perfect for a lovely little summer dress, wouldn't it? So I really, really like that. And yeah, a nice little floral one as well. So I actually felt quite inspired by the um, cover. Usually sometimes on these, you look at the cover pictures and you're a bit like, Ugh. Um, but actually I was really tempted to try this dress so I can't wait to give that a go and then my simplicity ones um, then I got uh, three of those which one shall I start off with I'm going to start off with this one uh, which is S9125 and this is a little jumpsuit um, or like little romper pattern and the reason I picked this up is because when I went to the Stitch Festival with my friend Katie, um, we were going around uh, some of the stalls and I don't know how we got on the conversation of it, but we were talking about jumpsuits and she said, oh, I've tried one. It's really good, really easy. And she went um, on her phone and was trying to find out which one it was. And it was this one. And she said that it turned out so nicely for her. And I saw that it was in the sale, so I thought, you know what, I will pick it up and give it a go myself. So again, you can see on the little uh, line drawings here, you've got uh, one for long um, legs or um, the short legs or a skirt. So you've got so many different options on there. And uh, you can have this uh, sort of like little ruffled front with this little tie, or you can have it where it just kind of is a V and then you can sort of almost like pinch um, the top of it there. And uh, also on the back, it does actually show that you can have a little uh, tie as well. So you can like in the picture of the model here, she's kind of cinched it in with a little tie. I thought that was lovely. And um, yeah, it comes in all sizes. So it's actually quite a thick envelope there. Um, I normally, I do get a little bit frustrated sometimes with the big four patterns because they do like separate um, size brackets in a lot of their patterns and they don't do crossover, which I do not understand at all. So usually in big four patterns, I'm like a size 14, 16, and usually they go up to like, you know, a size 14 and then the next pattern size goes 16 and up so I have to buy two patterns if I want to grade which is very 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 annoying but um <laughs> this one isn't this has got all the um sizes included so that's brilliant um I'll talk to you about this one which is S9385 this is a little jumper pattern and I thought it was lovely if you'd seen some of my recent um videos you'll see that I'm sort of into the puffy sleeves at the moment and I just thought these options were just lovely. I love the one that the model is wearing and um, I have love all these ones with the higher necks as well. You can get the ones with the normal crew neck. You can get um, like a fitted cuff with more of a puff sleeve higher up. You can get the one with the lower cuff with the uh, little puff sleeve um, and more sort of straight sleeves. So I thought that one was really, really nice. So yes, I got that one. And then the last pattern I got is the S8880, which is this one. And again, I'm saying about I like the puffy sleeves. I really like this version, version A, with this lovely sort of um, neckline and these gorgeous sleeves. I absolutely love it. I don't know if I'd make some of the other ones, I might make this one. I'm not overly keen on these two because I think these have more of like an empire sort of baggy um, sort of waist. I'm not overly keen on that. I kind of quite like these ones because these ones are a bit more fitted. I just think for me personally, I just, I kind of quite like fitted around my waist for those sort of tops. Um, I don't mind if it, maybe this was a bit longer. So it was more like tunic length, but I'm just not sure about that sort of length. So yes, that is that. Okay, so let's move on to showing you some of the fabrics. Now, the first piece of fabric that I'm gonna show you um, is actually one that I want to use for something I have got in my Make Nine sewing plans. I don't plan to make it until later on in the year, but there is a kind of like a onesie pattern. 
I can't think of the number off the top of my head, but I'll pop an image in here. Um, it's a onesie pattern and I've been after some sort of fabric for the onesie and it's quite fabric hungry. I think it does use like three meters or something. And I was thinking, well, should I get some French terry or some sweatshirting or some like polar fleece or like minky and all those sort of things. And um, again, when I went to the Stitch Festival, I was talking to Katie about wanting to make this onesie. And she said that she used kind of like that minky type, you know, the really fluffy sort of teddy fleece. And she just said it went everywhere it was an absolute nightmare <laughs> um and um she was just like it's lovely but just be warned it will go everywhere um, and so i was kind of thinking well maybe i won't do the really fluffy sort of fabric and i thought maybe getting sweatshirting or french terry but all of the ones that i was seeing were quite, still quite expensive like you know to get three meters of a really nice french terry or like fleece backs or sweatshirting or something was quite expensive and I just thought oh, it's a onesie I don't want to spend that amount of money on it um and then I thought let's just have a look at good old eBay and I saw on eBay they had some polar fleece um that was about 23 pounds for three meters and I thought do you know what that's fine I don't mind spending about 23 pounds on my onesie seeing as it is a lot of fabric and then I was just going through and there's so many like designs of polar fleece. <laughs> there's like floral ones, animal ones, plain ones. And then I saw this one and I thought I have to get it. And I'm sure you'll understand why <laughs> it is cats. <laughs> so it's this lovely dark red wines sort or of background and it's got these little cats on. So I've got these black and white cats and uh, yeah, I mean, it's just really, really cute, isn't it? Like all of their little faces. I mean, oh, I can't really open it out too much because there is so much fabric here. Um, but it is, as I say, a polar fleece. So um, yeah, it's just a really nice and soft fabric. I just think it's lovely. And it would just be perfect as my onesie. Um, I'll probably make it maybe towards sort of like autumn sort of time because we're heading into summer or spring summer um so I don't think I'm going to necessarily need it that much but um yeah on the outside I'm hoping you'll be able to see the texture there it's not too like fuzzy it's still nice and soft but not kind of too fluffy and then on the inside if I can show you there um there is it just a soft sort of lining uh, not lining it's just soft on the inside a little bit fleecy but not too much and it is quite um not like heavyweight it's reasonably lightweight like you can probably see there it's not necessarily drapey as such but um it's not going to be really heavy and just make me really really hot when I wear it so um yeah I had to get that fabric for my onesie so that will be in my plans at some point maybe sort of I don't know maybe like September October time I'm sort of thinking I'll probably start working on it possibly watch this space <laughs> and then yes let's move on to some of my other fabric so um I did um buy some bits from Lamazi fabric um sorry Lamazi fabrics um but I'm only going to show you one of them because some of the others I'm making into gifts and I don't really want to share them on my channel just in case <laughs> but I did pick up one meter of this art gallery rayon and oh, do you know what you know sometimes when you just have those things of just oh I've just got to buy something um what it was I was buying as I say gifts and um I just kind of thought oh I want to buy something for myself <laughs> <laughs> I mean I've got plenty of fabric I've got so much fabric but I just kind of thought no I want to buy something for myself so I uh, treated myself to some of this <laughs> this is as I say an art gallery rayon and it's just beautiful I'm hoping you'll be able to see the details in here but it's got all these lovely trees um, with like flowers and I think you get some like orange trees and then you've got these little unicorns just kind of scattered about I just think it's absolutely lovely. And I just picked up a meter because I just want to make myself a little um, like blouse or t-shirt. 
I'm going to have a go at making the uh, Scout Tea by Grainline Studio. That's on my plans this month. I have got it actually cut out, ready to go here. <laughs> this is the one I'm doing. Um, and uh, I just think if that works out really well, then I want to probably make this up in that as well. If not, then it would just be, you know, another little, maybe like a little sleeveless blouse or something. But I just thought it was really nice for colours. I just thought it was just so nice for summer. It's such a beautiful fabric. Art Gallery just make the nicest fabrics. Like their jersey is just dreamy. And their rayon. I mean, this is so silky soft. So nice. It's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I can't wait to make a little top out of that one. Now, when I was picking up my patterns from Minerva, um, again, <laughs> So I was picking up patterns and um, I think if you spend like, I think it's like £25 or something, then you get free postage. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh, well, I've got those patterns. I just need to spend a few more pounds and I get free postage. So I thought, oh, I'm going to buy myself just a, like a one metre um, of something. And I do have a plan for this because I do have a shirt that I want to make. And um, it's one of the Gertie um shirts again i can't remember um what the number is i'll pop it in here and it does use for the sleeveless version i think it is about a meter and i just thought Do you know what i wouldn't mind making it in like a stretch cotton but not that sort of you know like that sateen that sometimes you know got that sort of sheen to it um i wanted like a stretch cotton that wasn't had like shiny at all more like a cotton poplin but had a bit of stretch to it and i came across this fabric and oh it's beautiful absolutely lovely so this is yes a stretch cotton and it is basically like a cotton poplin sort of weight oh it's just beautiful so lovely lovely pink background with these red and purple flowers and a lot of you know i am loving my turquoise like mint colors at the moment and we have these little pops of turquoise in there as well oh it's absolutely beautiful love it absolutely love it so yes i got a meter of it and um yeah as i mentioned it is like a sort of poplin sort of weight so you can probably see there it's not like really thick it is like a cotton poplin it's really really nice and um, as I mentioned it does have stretch on there as well so if I just show you there I mean it's not masses of stretch it just gives a little bit so when I'm wearing like the shirt that I want to make, then as I'm sort of moving around a little bit, it'll just give a little bit. It won't be so taut and tight. So yeah, really, really like that one. I'm very happy I got that. I think this might be quite a long video, isn't it? So <laughs> still got quite a few to share. Um, I did also pop on to Like So Amazing because um, in the future I want to actually make some trousers and I don't have any sort of trouser weight fabric in my stash. Um, I've got lots of like viscoses, cottons, jerseys, but not sort of like a bottom weight sort of fabric. And I didn't want like denim. I just kind of wanted like, you know, like a cotton drill or something like that. And so I got a couple of pieces from like So Amazing because I just saw the colours that Sarah had in her shop and I thought they were gorgeous. And this is the one that I first had my eye on, which is this one. This, oh, lovely sort of burnt orange. Oh, it's so nice. And again, these have um, a little bit of stretch to them. So they are like cotton drill. I've got a metre and a half of this um, colour. And I, because I wanted to make sort of like full length trousers. And I think a metre and a half will kind of be all right. I'm thinking of something like the Lander Pants by True Bias and the Avid Seamstress uh, like City Trousers, something like that. Um, and I just, I love this colour. And I do actually own a pair of trousers sort of in this colour, but 
they don't fit me anymore. <laughs> I got them many, many years ago when I was a little bit slimmer. So um, yes, they haven't fitted me for quite some time. Um, I do really need to get rid of them now, but I was kind of clinging on to them because I used to wear them so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought this would be lovely. And it does have a little bit of stretch. So again, if I just show you that, just a little bit, not loads, but just enough give. So again, just stretching, you know, along the bottom um, or the waist, you know, and you sit down and things just can be really helpful. And I love this colour. Oh, absolutely love it. And then the other one that I got is this one. Oh, beautiful, beautiful ruby red colour. Now this, initially on um, Sarah's website, I picked out, um, I think it was called like a stretch chino um fabric uh in the color sangria and i uh, got a message from the lovely sarah just kind of saying i'm so sorry i only have 70 centimeters left because i wanted a meter because i wanted to make a pair of shorts and um she said i'm really sorry i've only got 70 centimeters would you like the 70 and i'll give you the discount um and then she actually said or oh, i do have this kind of ruby red sort of cotton drill um stretch which is a very similar color and it was also a little bit cheaper as well. Um, so I was like, brilliant, lovely. That would be absolutely amazing. So I had a look on the website because she sent me the link. And I just thought that was such good customer service that, you know, fair enough. You know, I understand how, you know, when you kind of measure up fabric, sometimes they may come up a little bit short in like in stock levels and things. Um, but to actually rather than just go, oh, we don't have it. You can either have it or we'll give you a refund. It was actually, oh, we have got something similar. And I thought that was really nice. Um, so, yes, I picked up this one, which is the, I think is the Ruby um, stretch cotton drill. And this is lovely. So, as I mentioned, I wanted to make a pair of shorts. Again, either use that lander pants pattern by True Bias to make shorts, because I've done that before um, with uh, denim. And they came out really nice. They are a bit big, though, now around the waist. I think um, they might have stretched a little bit as I was wearing them. Um, but again, yeah, this beautiful red, red colour and with a little bit. Oh, no, wrong way, that way. No, this way. Yeah, a little bit of stretch there. So just a little bit there. It doesn't stretch really in the other direction. That's probably the main bit of stretch. But it's not, again, it's not loads of stretch. It's just a little bit of give. I don't want it too stretchy. Um, I just want to be able to, you know, when I sit down for it just to stretch a little bit but i love that color really really nice i can just imagine you know even if i was to team up my blouse with my pair of shorts how cute would that look um so yeah that's what i'm thinking so i'm hoping to make that quite soon ready for when the sunshine comes out not today <laughs> it's cold today <laughs> so the sun should hopefully come out soon Fingers crossed for the Easter weekend. <laughs> okay, and then I'm, thank you so much for sticking with me. I know this is going to be a long video. My last um, purchases, which I got from Pound Fabrics. Now, I've never used Pound Fabrics before. Um, I must admit, I, I didn't really know much about them. I suppose, sort of in the back of my mind, I'm. it's going to sound really bad, but just the names sort of Pound Fabrics. I just thought it's everything's going to be a pound. It's probably not going to be that great quality. I don't know. Um, but then I actually started seeing more and more people buying from them and actually having really nice stuff. And I was like, oh, I probably will have a look at that one day. And I've been having a look through every now and again. Nothing's really caught my eye. And I hadn't been on it for absolutely ages. And I got a message from my lovely friend, Ruan, who is the Yorkshire So Girl on YouTube. I'm sure all of you know of her. She's brilliant. And she sent me a message going, I've just seen this fabric on Pound Fabrics and I just had to share it. And I saw it and instantly went over, bought it. And then I thought, well, whilst I'm there, I'll have another look. And I bought another two fabrics so Ruan, this is totally your fault for um, me buying these, <laughs> but thank you. I'm very glad that I've got them because I love these fabrics and they're amazing quality. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so the one that Ruan um, messaged me about, I just saw it and I was like, oh, it's just so cute. It is this. It's cats. It's always cats. And they are these beautiful cats with little hats and bows 
and glasses and crowns and oh so cute so cute and I just thought I need that for to get like a little t-shirt or something I just absolutely love it I love all the little faces it just makes me so happy just looking at them I think this one probably my favorite <laughs> this little crown just looking like oh yes I'm so regal I love it I absolutely love it and just yeah the colors in it so that's going to be a little t-shirt I'm thinking either of just a plain sort of like Agnes t-shirt by Tilly and the Buttons or making the um pattern scissors cloth galaxy tee you know the one with the little puffy sleeves I thought that might be quite cute as well in that um but yeah I got a meter and I think that was 10 pounds for the meter so yeah love that and then yes as I say when I was on there I had to pick up some other bits so I saw this oh again I love these colors this is a French terry and this was really good value um I can't remember off the top of my head how much it was or do I have the invoice here I think I might bear with me bear with um I got this for uh this was eight pound fifty a meter this was and yeah this is a french terry so let me just open it up and first off yeah colors you know i love the turquoise sort of color at the moment so there's lots of that in there teamed up with uh pinks and oranges like orange and blue as a kind of combo i absolutely love and it did sort of remind me a little bit of like that kind of rifle paper company sort of look. I'm not sure if you kind of know what I mean on there, but just kind of like the like the flowers, just a little bit, just like a little nod to that sort of design. And as I mentioned, it is French terry. So you can see uh, those, well, you might be able to see kind of those loops on the back. And uh, yeah, nice amount of stretch as well in both directions so i was thinking that would make a lovely hoodie i just think it'd be really nice um, and it is quite lightweight you can probably see there it's actually got a fair amount of sort of drape to it so it's not a heavy weight at all so i thought that would be really nice again for like spring summer because yes summer in theory, we all think, oh yes, lots of sunshine, really, really hot in the UK. It's not always that hot. And quite often, you know, if you go out to, you know, friends barbecue or whatever, and you know, as soon as the sun starts going down, it gets absolutely freezing. So you do need jumpers and things. So I thought that would be gorgeous. Love that. And then the last fabric that uh, I picked up was um, a jersey. And I just loved the colors in this. Oh look at those oh it's so pretty and I love how sort of like retro it kind of looks I'm getting a lot of like 70s sort of vibes from this <laughs> and um yeah the colors I love orange I love blue and it's all on a black background and it's just so bright and happy I love it and I just thought for this would be a really nice um you know like kind of like a sort of skater sort of dress you know kind of like a basic sort of t-shirt top with a sort of gathered um skirt or something in that just nice floral and bright and also because it's got this black background you could wear it in the autumn or sort of winter time team it up with some black thick tights and like a little black jumper over the top or even like a brightly colored jumper if you want to pick out one of those but I love it it's just so pretty just gorgeous and it's an amazing quality really really nice quality I was really worried because of being a black background it was going to be one of those things you know you stretch it out and it goes all white no not at all if I stretch this out for you there and you see there it doesn't go white at all at all so yeah absolutely love it that one was um eight pounds a meter so yeah even though they're called pound fabrics no they're not all like a pound <laughs> you can get some fabrics for a pound um but yeah there are some absolute gems um obviously hidden amongst the website as well so i do recommend having a look at pound fabrics because yeah 
I love what I've bought and the quality on everything I've bought has been amazing. I will definitely be using them again. So yes, I got two meters of this one, by the way, so plenty to make my lovely dress. Don't know when I'll make it, but at some point. <laughs> So I really hope you enjoyed watching today. Thank you for sticking along with me because I know it's been a long one. <laughs> if you have enjoyed, then please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, it would be lovely if you could. And please comment down below which item was your favourite, which fabric was your favourite. Have you sewn any of those sewing patterns before? Have you uh, subscribed to a mystery box? You know, what are your thoughts? Did you get the first fabrics one? I'd love to know. I always enjoy hearing from you guys. Okay, well, take care and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye.